Hi, we're Athena's Warriors, and we're the 2022 STEM Achievement Award winners. Athena's Warriors is a community 4-H first robotics team. We're a group of high schoolers and uh, middle schoolers with mentors that compete at first robotics competitions and have an impact in our community through STEM and labor culture. The 200 teams in New England compete against each other in smaller events and then qualify for the New England District Championship. And then out of that group, only about 22 teams from New England got to represent New England in Worlds. You know, they, they got selected to be on the finals team and, and they won and that's the first time in our team history. The robot this year, that you can see all seven simple machines on it, like we really progressed and like I can see that my like knowledge of STEM and everyone's knowledge of STEM on the team has increased. Starting off with this, this like big challenge of building a robot was initially pretty daunting, but with the team, it, it was actually pretty fun and doable. It's intimidating, sure. Um, there's a lot to it and I could totally see how someone goes into a situation and they're like, I don't know how to do this. Like there's no way I could possibly learn this, but really just take step by step, go through time. Everyone started at the place you were at. From the beginning, the thing that I was most interested in was uh, just like designing things and like just imagining things that might work to solve a problem. The field of robotics is important for our future because there's really big problems that aren't gonna be able to be solved by humans doing this work. You know, a robot can do something in a different way that a human wouldn't be able to do safely. So I think that the future of robotics really does depend on students who, who grow and start looking at problems in a different way instead of how can I accomplish this task, how can I build something to accomplish this task. Mm -hmm. You get this really special problem solving mindset and just like being involved in STEM and science centers are really cool in that aspect because they kind of foster interest, especially in younger children, but also people of all ages. And keeping that curiosity alive at that young age, like, really helps. And, like, I feel like there's kids on our team that have, like, a really curious mindset, and those are the kids that do the best because they're always trying to learn, and they don't get discouraged when things don't go their way, but they keep fighting through, like, their little problems. I remember a really specific memory of me, my mom, and my brother taking a bus down here to Hartford, and we went to the science center, and I remember watching a 3D movie with dinosaurs flying out my face and seeing all the little mechanical apparatus around. And that definitely sparked my interest in more ways than one. Science centers show us what's possible. There's a lot of finished products at a science center. So, you know, we're, our program helps them solve problems, but the science center shows us some solved problems and, and what's possible. Mm -hmm.